Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ah, what do we have for Pisces for May? At any time in the near future. What do we have for Pisces? Well, I guess we'll take those. Three is just how many we needed, too. Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. At the right place, at the right time. Now, Sagittarius is in your past. Okay. Um, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of luck. So there's, there's somebody's luck may have run out. Could be... I don't know who's, we're going to get to that, but this is in the past, um, Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius season is December, end of November, December, because something could, could be, uh, something that happened in November or December could be being dealt with this week. At the right place, at the right time, autumn. So our autumn is harvest time. Um, rewards. Rewards coming in the fall. I don't know why I didn't name this card fall because I want to call it the fall. So something and something coming in the fall. This is a reward. This is harvest. This is... Uh, Getting the benefits of hard work, having abundance, some sort of abundance is coming. You may find yourself at the right place at the right time this week. Now, I said this is the planet of luck. So, you know, there you, you may even be getting a lucky break this week. Something very lucky could be coming into your life this week. And by fall, you get some huge reward out of it, okay? This week, something... But why am I saying week? It's not supposed to be week. This is for any time in May. Being at the right place at the right time is going to bring you some sort of reward in the fall. Keep that in mind, okay? So you're, you're going to find yourself in a situation that is going to pay off for you later. It's going to start this week. But I said something about November and December. So, I don't know. This may have to do with the Sagittarius as well. I'm not sure. So, let's see what else we got for you. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Pisces? I feel like you, somebody has evolved, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. It's a time of change. This is uh, receiving something better. I think you're going to be receiving something much better. You may be exchanging something for something better. Um, blossoming abundance and you notice the word blossoming it's coming right now it's spring okay spring things blossom and in the fall is when we get the harvest so i'm telling you what you've got something that is coming this fall all right it is it's blossoming right now okay this is where the seeds start to come out but this is it's like there is some sort of uh beautiful thing that is about to happen put it that way this is it is flowers are beautiful and it may have started back in november i feel like some sort of prayers have been heard as well i don't know where that's coming from but you're gonna find yourself at the right place at the right time this week okay or you could be dealing with somebody that is um i feel like luck is on your side You may not see that you are going to see something very beautiful is about to happen. You may not see that you are abundance is coming, but this this is like a cornucopia, right? This is literally a, a bountiful harvest, right? It is. 
Wedding. Ooh, wedding. Now, let me read it. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It, it signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith in love, dearest one. I don't know. Maybe somebody's getting married in the fall. Or you did get married in the fall and I don't know what. You, you could meet somebody during this time that you end up getting married to. doesn't even have to be this year, okay? You know, um, there is something to do with marriage. It's funny because if I was going to get married, I wanted an October wedding. So that would be like a fall. I always like fall anyway. Anyhow, hell, marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. You know, and I feel like you don't see it coming. I feel like you really, 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 something is, you don't see it coming. This has to do with a marriage or a wedding, Okay. It could also, and I, I shouldn't have looked, but I did. It could have to do with a dissolving of a marriage. I looked on the bottom. The sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. <clears throat> so it is time to go. Something, I mean, this card, I wouldn't have looked if I wasn't supposed to. Um, it is time to go. It is time to go toward your destiny. I keep seeing the Wheel of Fortune in my head. So that tells me that is fortune, that is reward. I had this during the Taurus reading, too. <coughs> I don't know why. Odd. I've done a bunch of other readings, and it hasn't happened. Anyhow, um, the Wheel of Fortune is destined change of course. It's one chapter that is ending, and a new one is be is beginning. There is fortune at the end of that. So receiving, it's fortunate, okay? This is serendipity. It is being at the right place at the right time. So you are going to find yourself at the right place at the right time. And it is going to change your, it's like a fated change, okay? It's fate. And it's beautiful. That card mentioned beauty and I see beauty. There's beauty here, a lot of it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And I think, I don't know how it has to do with the Sagittarius. It have to do with, you know, that time or with somebody that was born in December, end of December, or beginning of December, end of November. Um, that could be what starts this. Whatever this is, it is, the, it is a destined event, okay? It's a destined change that puts you at the right place at the right time. Um, and it leads to some sort of... Uh, I feel like it's love. I do feel like it's love. I feel like it's abundance. And I feel like it's reward. Uh, some of you are probably sitting there and you're saying, Nope, I don't want it. Well, expect the unexpected, okay? Some of you could be dissolving a wedding as well because time to go was there. So, you could be leaving something in behind, okay? And... and Moving this fall. Knight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. So that's action being taken. That is uh, plans. It's definitely plans. Strategies, plans. Uh, somebody working hard to uh, strategize. Um, you could also be running into somebody. Could be an earth sign or a fire sign. Why did I say fire sign? Earth sign or uh, air sign. But I said fire sign. So when that comes out, that comes out. I do believe that. We have somebody here that is going to be making some sort of an approach. This is somebody that is 
going to be approaching you in some way. This is somebody that is very uh, determined, very intelligent, hardworking, um, protective, uh, financially stable. This person is a hard worker. We have a hard worker who plans their moves. This is a planner. This is somebody who plans their moves and then they do it. So somebody is planning something. They may see you and they just... It feels like this person comes up on you by chance. Okay? This is by chance. This is somebody coming to the rescue. Somebody coming to the rescue. It is somebody coming to the rescue. If you are the masculine watching this, I would say that you are the rescuer. I would because it's a masculine on the horse. We have this woman here that's waiting to be rescued. Somebody's coming to the rescue. Okay, they are coming to the rescue. Um, for this woman who is wondering if she is going to die in this situation. Obviously, there's already been one casualty. All right. Anyhow, the moon card. So there's a casualty here. Somebody's coming to take her away. Save the day. There's somebody coming to save the day. <laughs> Sounds like fantasy to me, doesn't it? Anyhow, this is fantasy right here. But anyhow, the moon card is illusion. All is not as it seems. Proceed with caution. This is follow your gut. There is uh, fear of the unknown here. This may be somebody from the past or somebody that you feel very, very familiar with. Um... A lot of feelings here, emotional. Uh, there could be a reconciliation. There could be a reunion. Um, could be soulmates. The moon card. Somebody may be reuniting with a soulmate. Um, this is taking a slow and methodical approach. Somebody is entering. Somebody is entering or they are running into somebody by chance. That's what it is. They're running into somebody by chance. This person that they are running into is desperate for some help. Has probably been begging for help. And, well, it is what it is, right? Nine of Pentacles is uh, self-sufficient hard-working, abundant. So we have a self-sufficient, hard-working, abundant individual who has worked themselves up. This is somebody that may be an entrepreneur, a business owner. This is somebody that is very, very independent, that is independently successful, that has built a strong foundation. So whoever this person is that it, that is, you're running, we have two people that are running into each other. Okay, we have an, and it feels like both of these people are financially successful. You know, there's, there's abundance here of some sort. The moon, all is not as it seems. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. with that moon card. You're going to need to listen to your gut and let go of your fear. Be, and no, have no fear. No fear. No fear. That's just something I got to say is no fear. Eight of Cups. It's a star. It's interesting because I said I, it feels like your prayers have been heard or answered. I can't remember what I said. I let them go so fast. Your prayers have been answered with that star card. This is a wish coming true. It's a dream coming true. You're, it's a blessing. Being blessed. Saying goodbye is a blessing. Somebody may be leaving. It's interesting that I said this could be somebody leaving behind a marriage. This is independent. This is saying goodbye. This is something that you asked for. Some of you may be wishing for a way out of a marriage or a commitment or something like that. Or you may be wishing for a partner that you're going to marry. Whatever your wish is, this is your wish being granted. Okay? This is a wish being granted. We also have a star here somebody that shines that is glowing that may be famous um the star is you know a star is a star 
Somebody is blessed. They're being blessed. They are protected. They are protected by the other side. Saying goodbye is a blessing in disguise because it leads to, you know, um, a cornucopia, right? With that foul card, it leads to a reward. It leads to something very fortunate. Saying goodbye to an emotionally disappointing situation was actually a blessing in disguise because somebody has worked hard to overcome obstacles and build their abundance. This person is going to be at the right place at the right time and they are going to meet somebody by chance. This person is probably somebody that is very reliable, very hardworking, and can add to that other person's abundance. But there's going to be fear of the unknown with that moon card. That's fear. I don't want to do it. I can't see what's below. I'm scared. There's a need to let go of that fear and proceed. Proceed with caution. Take your time, but go for it. It does lead to abundance. And this is a very, very, very beautiful thing. It really is. Um, okay, so I have to play. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Obviously, we have Sagittarius, and we have Aquarius. We also have Fall, and I mentioned October. I have mentioned, did mention October, but I mentioned November and December as well. Um, somebody's faith is going to be tested this month. Uh, there's a need to be grounded, okay, and to be logical and to take a chance, whatever that means, take a chance. This is something that you asked for. It's something that you prayed for. We have a, um, this is, could make you extremely happy. I feel like, uh, it's almost like a fairy godmother is granting somebody's wish after they have been, uh, with that eight of cups, they've been left, left. They've been left, you know, they've been left. I mean, what more can I say? Somebody has been left. They've been left to, to fend for themselves. Now a blessing is coming and you may not want it because we have a very, very, very independent person. This reading is by Soul Source Tarot. And this reading could be vice versa. So this could be for the cross watcher. We have somebody here that is very, very independent. The Nine of Pentacles is an independent, self-sufficient person who doesn't need another person, doesn't need somebody to complete them. This person is very stable, solid, and secure on their own. Could be a business owner or somebody that just works a lot or, you know is very is living a very comfortable life we have somebody here that is very comfortable on their own that and it's interesting this person is doing their own thing not focusing on anything and somebody that has been left or has left a situation is heading right towards them we definitely have two people that are coming together that are meant to be together during this time Could be another water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio headed towards a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's wish is being granted. This is a dream come true. We have a star here. Some, and I don't know if this has to do with fame. I mean, I, I saw fortune, the fortune and fame. I don't know how that plays out. I feel like there's romance in the air. Um, this is a budding romance or a blossoming romance. And I don't, and I feel like... Uh, it, it happens by chance. This is somebody that takes a risk. Anyhow, Pisces, I think that you are going to find yourself at a place by chance that changes your destination. Good luck.